All right, this is the five things I wish I knew before moving to Surrey, BC. Now, I've never actually moved to Surrey from anywhere. I live in Abbotsford, BC, but this video is specifically for the people who are thinking of moving to Surrey. So the first thing that I wish I knew before I moved to Surrey, even though I've never moved to Surrey, is the traffic sucks. Guilford, Panorama Ridge, Surrey Central, Sullivan Station, uh, basically anywhere in West Surrey, the traffic is terrible after 2 p.m. and you're gonna hit every single red light in existence. And it's gonna take you 45 minutes to travel from South Surrey to North Surrey. But anywhere in East Surrey, like Clayton Heights, Port Kells, Cloverdale, are generally pretty good when it comes to traffic. Uh, you can just hop onto 176th Street, that's that main artery road there. And then you're on the highway or you're at hi Highway 99 either way. Um, so East Surrey, not so bad for traffic. West Surrey, absolutely terrible. Number two, there isn't a whole lot to actually do in Surrey. Now, this is probably gonna be controversial for some reason, but it's just my opinion after living there for 22 years. There's basically no nightlife outside of the Tap House, which was previously called the Mirage when I was growing up. And now they have a new club in Surrey Central that's, you know, uh, the Punjabi Club or something like that. I'm not too sure, but other, outside of those two things, there really is no nightlife there. There's pretty much nothing to do. Even when I did drink, which I don't anymore, we used to basically travel to Langley for, you know, Sharks Club, Oak and Thorn, uh, Town Hall. Uh, if not that, we'd go to Coquitlam for Foggy Dew, or we would have to go all the way to downtown Vancouver because there really, uh, really isn't much inside of Surrey itself and anything that there is to actually do is pretty much a 30 minute drive away from you even though it's still within Surrey. Like they have, you know, the Red Racer Brewery in Bridgeview and they have, uh, I think they have a brewery in the middle of Surrey Central, it's called like Central City Brewery or something like that, but there's no wineries at least to the best of my knowledge. Um, and even if, you know, in terms of shopping, if you wanna go to Costco, there's one on the border of North Delta and Surrey, which is again, a 30 minute drive from most places in Surrey. So most people who live in uh, Fleetwood, Guilford, or anywhere east of that, they all just travel to the Langley Costco to go to Costco. At least when you're in Langley or even Abbotsford, you're pretty much five to 10 minutes away from everything the city has to offer. And it's not a 30 or 40 minute drive away like it would be in Surrey. I also find that Langley has more breweries, uh, more stuff to do. Abbotsford has breweries, wineries, some outdoorsy stuff to do. Um, so just my opinion that Surrey really doesn't have much to do. Obviously you get the SkyTrain station so you can you know, hop on there and you're in downtown Vancouver without a car. Uh, but other than that, within the city, there really isn't much. Let me preface this part of the video by saying that this isn't meant to throw shade at any particular ethnicity or anything like that. I just think it's probably something you'd wanna know if you're moving to Surrey, which areas are most predominantly a certain ethnicity. Because if you're coming from a certain background, you probably or most likely wanna live in an area where most of the people there are most culturally alike you, so there's less friction within your life. So Surrey for the most part is not yet anyways dominantly South Asian, but it's definitely going that way as that is the majority of the growing populace. But it definitely depends on which area you plan to live in. So I'm just gonna cover some good areas. So Fraser Heights is a good mix of ethnicities, I would say. Guilford's a good mix. Surrey Central's a good mix. Fleetwood's a good mix. South Surrey's a good mix. Uh, Newton is predominantly South Asian and Panorama Ridge is mostly South Asian. And then Cloverdale, I'm gonna say is probably largely Caucasian, and Clayton Heights is probably largely uh, Caucasian as well. And then there's a whole bunch of other sub areas that fall within bigger sub areas that I could cover, but for the most part, they're just a good mix as well. I've covered most of the main areas that people would probably be looking to move to. Number four, the weather. This is mostly for the out of towners. If you guys didn't know, it's overcast most of the time in Metro Vancouver and Surrey is a part of Metro Vancouver. Over 50% of the time on an annual basis, it's usually overcast. So Surrey is cloudy 57% of the time and rains on average 173 days per year. So it's raining 47% of the time here. White Rock or South Surrey is cloudy only 55% of the time and it rains 168 day, uh, days a year on average. So you get an extra five days of not rain in White Rock or South Surrey. And to add some context to here, Tuasin, which is probably the furthest Southern city in Metro Vancouver, is rainy only 152 days of the year. So it is the most sunny city in Metro Vancouver. 
obviously it's more pricey because of that. So just to give you guys some options out here, if that is really important to you, there's areas like Richmond, Tuasin, uh, and White Rock, which is slightly sunnier than Surrey. And then number five, the elephant in the room, the crime rate here. In my opinion, the narrative behind Surrey's crime rate is mostly false. Uh, as I did live there for 22 years, now I live in Abbotsford, I can definitely tell you I've experienced much more crime in Abbotsford, but again, it comes down to which part of these cities you're planning to live in. So I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of areas that I'd recommend you stay away from if you do not like crime. Bolivar Heights, Bridgeview, definitely stay away from this area if you don't like crime and uh, you know having homeless live around your house. I uh, would probably stay away from Bridge, uh, Bridgeview. Number three, Cedar Hills. Four, Royal Heights. Parts of Wally. Surrey Central is pretty good these days, but on the outskirts of Surrey Central, like not directly in the middle of it, uh, Wally isn't the best uh, when you're on the outskirts of actual Surrey Central. So that's an area I might stay away from. And uh, anywhere in Newton pretty much is not the best. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe to the channel, book that call with me. I'm that Agent Kelly and I'm making moves to move you.